So <clears throat> this is the first video, um, and here we're going to do a few examples that were covered in um, uh, the lecture covering section 1.1, which is just systems of uh, linear equations. So the first example is write the augmented matrix corresponding to the system of the following linear equation equations, right? First of all, again, a reminder, what does it mean an augmented matrix? It means a mat matrix including these values right here. Okay, this was a wrong color, so including the constants at the end of the equation, right? Okay, so the matrix is going to be, the matrix is going to be consisted of what? Well, first we have, we just have to put the constants here, right? Or the coefficients. So the first coefficient in the first equation, the coefficients are um, 3, negative 3, 5, and negative 7. So that's 3, negative 3, 5, negative 7. And then before we drop this here vertical line, which will separate the coefficient matrix from the, will will um, not separate, but will differentiate between a coefficient matrix and augmented matrix. In the augmented matrix, all you have to do is plug these values here that I said, the constants at the end. You have to be careful Always before you start writing the, the matrix, check how many variables do you have. Because in the first equation, we only have four variables, right? 3x1, negative 3x2, 5x3, negative 7x4. But as you can see, the system is consisted of equations having five variables. Because x5 does not appear in the first equation, we treat that as plus 0 times x5. And 0 is just constant as any other constant, any other coefficient. So this place here, we have to put 0. Similarly, in the following equation, we have only three variables, right? Which means what? The ones that are missing, x1 and x4, are simply multiplied by zero. So basically here I have zero times x1 plus, so the first coefficient is zero, the second coefficient is positive one third, the third coefficient is negative one over five, the fourth coefficient is missing, the fourth variable is missing, that means that, sorry about that, so the fourth variable is missing, that means that x4 is multiplied by zero, Right? So that means that the coefficient is 0, and the last one is 5. And finally, x1 is multiplied by 5, x2 is multiplied by 0, right? Plus 0x2. You have to include that coefficient, 0. 5, positive 5 times x3, 2 times x4, so 2, and then negative so this is the augmented matrix corresponding to this system of linear equations. If you were just asked to write the coefficient matrix, then your matrix would have stopped right here, right? You would have one column less. So the augmented matrix is augmented, right? Is bigger for this column consisted of the constants of the linear system. Now, Let's just become aware of the following fact that, uh, so as we said in class, uh, the uh, matrix ha is consisted of rows, right, and columns. How many columns do we have? Well, the number of columns depends on the number of variables, right? So I have x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5, which means that the coefficient matrix we have will have five columns, each column corresponding to a variable x4 and x5. You can generalize this. I know it's very easy for you to generalize the fact that every augmented matrix 
has how many columns? Has n plus one column, n being the number, n being the number of variables. So here we have five variables, right? That means that the coefficient matrix has five columns, or the augmented matrix has six columns, right? It's always the augmented matrix is always always uh, augmented by by one column considered of the constants, right? Then the question is, well, how many rows? What the numbers of rows correspond to? Well, that's easy. How did we complete the first row? The first row were the uh, we, we wrote down the first row looking at the coefficients from the first equation. Similarly, we wrote the second row looking at the coefficients of the second equation, which basically means that this is equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three the numbers sorry the number of equations corresponds to the number of rows in our either coefficient or or augmented matrix here there is not going to be any difference okay so it's very simple to to write down the the augmented matrix given a system of linear equations okay it should be as easy to write down the it should be as easy to write down the um, system of linear equations given an augmented matrix okay so that's the second problem write the system of linear equations corresponded to the given augmented matrix okay so let's see first of all uh, how many variables do we have well simply right here this the first row corresponds to x1 the second sorry the first column sorry about that first column corresponds to x1 second column corresponds to x2 third column corresponds to x3 fourth column corresponds to x4 so we have uh, four variables and then in the question it says that this is an augmented matrix which means that the last column is a column of the as the column of the uh, of the constants right then how many equations do we have well we have one two three four rows that means that we have four equations equation one equation two equation three and equation four so all we have to do now is just write one times x zero uh, one sorry so i'm looking at the first equation plus 0 times x2 plus 0 times x3 plus 3 times x4 is equal to the constant 7. Now the second equation is 0 times x1 plus 2 times x2 plus 1 times x3 plus 0 times x4 is equal to 1. 0 times x1, I'm off to the third equation, right? Plus 0 times x2, plus 3 times x3, plus 4 times x4 is equal to 11. And finally, 0 times x1, plus 0 times x2, plus 0 times x3, plus 2 times x4 is equal to four and that's the equation four okay now of course i don't expect you to write zero times x2 or zero times x3 right because you know that if it, the variable is multiplied by zero that then variable vanishes also this is linear algebra right so you have taken cal1 and cal2 i assume so never leave one times x1 just write x1 so this is just an introductionary problem. What I expect you to write is, okay, so the first equation becomes x1 plus 3x4 is equal to 7. Now the second equation, 0 times x1, x1 vanishes. I have 2 times x2, so 2x2 plus 1 times x3 is just x3 is equal to 1 because 0 times x4 is 0. Now the third equation, 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2, that's all 0, 
Now we are left only with 3 times x3, so 3x3 plus 4x4 is equal to 11. And finally, 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 0 times x3, that's all 0, plus 2 x4 is equal to 4. As a matter of fact, although this is not the question, we can simply solve this equation, right? If you divide here by 2, right, from here, this implies that x is equal to 2, okay? Having x4, you can plug it into the third equation and figure out how much is x3. So, Three x three plus four times I already we already figure out how much is x four that's two is equal to eleven so three x three is equal to eleven minus eight which is three right this is eight so you bring it on this side eleven minus eight is three so from here it follows that x three is simply one now having x three. I can figure out how much is x2 from the second equation. 2x2 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 and 1 cancels out. This implies that 2x2 is equal to 0, or simply x2 is 0. Okay, and finally, how much is x1? x1 plus 3 times x4 is 2, 3 times 2 is equal to 7, from here it implies that x1 is equal to x1 is equal to 1. Okay. So as we can see, this system is consistent, right? it has one unique solution. So let's do one more example here where the augmented matrix is given and I'm asking you to find out, to write down the system corresponding to this augmented matrix and if possible write down the solution of the, that system. So the first row is 1, 1, 1, 3, then 2, 0, 4, 5 and then zero 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 two okay so here we're going to go a little bit uh, faster so I have three variables and three equations right equation one equation two and equation three so it's a one times x1 which is x1 plus one times x2 which is x2 plus 1 times x3, which is x3, and that's equal to 3. Second equation, 2 times x1, which is 2x1, plus 0 times x2, which is 0, so we don't write that one, plus 4 times x3, which is um, 4x3, is equal to 5. And now 0 times x1 is 0, plus 0 times x2 is 0, plus 0 times x3 is 0, but we have to write something, right? I cannot just like leave this is equal to 2. When there is no variables here, I have to write that all of them are multiplied by 0, so I get 0 is equal to 2. So this is the system of linear equations corresponding to this augmented matrix. Uh, what are the solutions? As we said in class, this system of linear equations doesn't have a solution. Why? Well, because this contradiction right here. Okay. So, we have no solutions. Okay. So, this is very important. When the coefficient matrix will have, when the coefficient matrix will have a a row of zeros but the corresponding value in the augmented column is going to be different than zero then this system will have no solutions what this will look geometrically we'll cover that in the next video thank you